In a certain office, 50% of the employees are college graduates and 60% of the employees are over 40 years old. If 30% of those over 40 have master's degree, how many of the employees over 40 have master's degrees? So let's say that N is the total number of employees. The folks who have a college education are 50% of them, so college is 0.5N. And that would mean that the folks with no college education, they would be the other 50%, 0.5N. So the over 40 folks, they account for 60% or 0.6 of N. And so then the 40 or under crowd, they would account for 40% or 0.4 of N. And then we're told that master's degrees of the folks over 40, well, that's 30% of the folks who are over 40. So 30% of the 0.6 times N equals the folks with master's degree over 30. And we want to know what is this number? What's the number of people with master's degree over the age of 40? So in order to figure out this number, we'd need to know the value of N. Statement number one tells us exactly 100 of the employees are college graduates. So the college graduates, which are 50% of all employees, equals 100. Well, that immediately tells us that the total number of employees is 200. Do we know the total number of employees? We can figure out the number with master's degrees over 40. And so this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget about statement number one, focusing on statement number two. This tells us of the employees 40 years or less, 25% have master's degrees. So 0.25 times this 0.4n, the folks who are under 40, and these are the folks with master's degrees at age 40 or under. Well, the trouble is, if we know this, we, we don't know the exact number here, and we have no way even to combine it with this statement up here. Even if we added to get the total number of people with master's degrees, we're, we're not given that information, what's the total count of people with master's degrees. And we don't, so there's no way to calculate N, and so there's no way to calculate the number of people with master's degrees over the age of 40, given this information. So this information by itself is insufficient. So statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice A.